when you slice the duck, you just really need two strokes there and there. Hi, my name is Douglas Williams. I'm the chef and owner of Mita Restaurant in Boston. Uh, I'm here to show you the 12 minute duck breast. Uh, one of the easiest things you've ever cooked in your life and you only need just a few ingredients. Uh, let me take you over here and show you what to do. All right, so now I just wanna show you my setup that I have for my mise en place. Um, it makes cooking a lot easier just to have everything you need, everything in its place. Um, so I'll go over what I have. So obviously I have a towel because I want to keep clean, but I also want to protect my hands from the pan. I have my pan itself that's adequate enough for both the duck breasts. Um, even a little drain pan. I have uh, a lemon and a lime, you can use orange, whatever you like. I peel a little bit of the zest, put it in the little drain pan. So when I do uh, pop the hot oil um, from the duck fat, um, it kind of flavors it and you can use it uh, for cool things at a later time. Um, I also have a little heavy Pyrex to push down uh, gently the duck breast so it can push some of that fat out of the out of the skin. And I also have a little uh, drain pan essentially for um, the rest of the duck. And um, let me show you how to get into it. All right, folks, so all you need is two duck breasts. Um, if you're doing for three people, four people, you buy four duck breasts, as long as your pan can adequately fit that. And I have a pan here and a little razor blade to slice some really fine uh, lines in the in the duck breast. If you don't have a razor blade, just use a really sharp knife. So first we're gonna take the duck breast, lay it out flat, grab your sharp knife or razor blade and just make the nice even scores in the breast, then go cross hatch just to make those nice squares. Um, that'll give you even cooking and even browning when you place it in the pan. I have a little salt, uh, fresh cracked pepper. I'm just gonna lightly season each one, okay? okay. Just a little bit on the skin. You don't need a whole lot. Some people also brine their ducks and I do that usually, um, but for uh, time's sake, we're just gonna lightly salt and pepper this skin. You wanna place it in a cold pan, meaning no heat on at all. Um, just lay it in very gently. Just gonna have a little more salt, a little more pepper. Okay. Then we turn the heat on. Once the pan starts to heat up enough, it will activate the fat and the water inside of the, the skin of the duck, and you'll start to hear crackles. Once you start to hear those crackles, um, you wanna pay extra close attention to how loud it gets. And once it gets a nice moderate tone, turn the heat down to medium to high heat, and then gradually start to bring it down to medium as the, the, the noise and the uh, reaction of the water and the fat collide. So now you can start to hear the sizzle, now we start a 12 minute timer and I'll see you in 12 minutes. Once you found your correct heat at about medium, um, you want to place something uh, moderately heavy on top of the duck breast to push out the, the, the liquid fat from the solid fat on top of the duck breast. And you'll drain out the fat just a little bit. Keep the pyrex on top or the pan to hold the duck in place as you tilt over uh, the duck breast to drain out some of the fat. Once the skin is rendered far enough, everything is brown, everything is caramelized and beautiful looking, you want to turn the duck breast on its side for about two minutes. You can move it around from end to end just to make sure it's getting even heat on the pan, uh, but you want to essentially just keep it on the one side for about two minutes. Um, and then after that two minutes as it laps, you turn it to the other side and you do the same thing for another two minutes. Once that two minutes has elapsed, you're down up to four minutes and you want to basically roll it on the belly, what we call the belly, uh, the kind of wobbly part on the bottom, and just roll it gently. You can either use two spoons, um, I like to use that because it's convenient and everyone has it, or you can use some sort of tongs um, or some sort of uh, grappling device to, to, to grab the duck. And just to roll it around, be gentle with it. It just should look like a, a boat in the water, just kind of tilting side to side, just gently and freely. Um, once you've done that for about two to three minutes, um, depending on the size of the duck breast, you want to take that off and put it onto a, a resting pan. It'll rest for about five minutes, and you want to just let that be and come to an. It should be hot to the touch, but not overly hot. If it's too hot, all the juiciness and all that yumminess will leak out of the duck breast, and you'll lose a lot of that moisture and that you actually want to hold in. 
So once you have your duck breast on your resting rack, just gently pull off, put onto a cutting board, grab the sharpest knife you can. So when I cut the duck breast, um, you know, you don't want to cut it with this skin side up there because um, the knife doesn't really go through too cleanly. Um, what you want to do is just gently roll it over just away from you. Okay, pull it back. Give your hands a little wipe. And now you just want to go for the cut, right? So when you slice the duck, you just really need two strokes there and there, okay? Or you can go forward and pull back if you want. But either way, I like mine about a little less than the length than the width of a finger, um, but you can make it as thin as you want. You can make it as thick as you want. Um, really, if the duck is cooked this way, it's gonna be very uh, tender and, and very lovely, right? So we got that beautiful pink, right? Beautiful sheen. Um, the, the, the skin layer is all the way cooked down to just to keep the crispiness. Um, it's really not, that, like I said, it's not that difficult at all. Um, it's just repeating the steps that I showed you here today. I'm just gonna plate each piece. You can have fun with it. Don't feel, this is your chance to be pompous and, and, and do a little um, fun plating. And I just like to do mine around. Okay, let's have a little fun with it. I have a little, Raisin jam here. Um, and that's essentially the duck breast, one of the easiest things you've ever cooked in your life. If you like this recipe and really enjoyed yourself, comment below on Food52, and you can also reach me on Instagram at Douglas with two S's Williams. Please enjoy. <laughs>